with the show. Hi, Angela. Welcome to Yarn on the Hi, Veronica. Thank Why you. Why don't you tell our viewers what you're all about and what you do? Well, I um, started just yesterday. It was my one-year anniversary with, uh, on Etsy. Yay. So that was kind of exciting. I'm having a sale going on right now. Um, and what I do you love... do on Etsy? What? What do you do on Etsy? What do you sell on Etsy? I sell mostly yarn. Mm -hmm. I have six different bases. Um, I have some fiber, and actually I'm expecting a big shipment of fiber, too. Okay. So I'll just be kind of getting into dyeing fiber, so I'm excited about that. Because I just started spinning in May. Oh, wow. So it's really fun. I'm kind of getting really addicted to it. <laughs> so you sell hand-dyed yarn, and yes. how long have you been dyeing yarn? About a year ago, I started, I was reading a, um, a Knit Picks magazine, mm -hmm. and the catalog and I'm like, undyed yarn? I mean, I could dye my own yarn? <laughs> so I was like, oh, this could be fun. So I started with Kool-Aid mm -hmm. and then I, um, it didn't give me very much control over the colors, so I really didn't like it much. I did like three skeins and thought, I need some real dyes. So I purchased some real, you know, professional acid dyes and um, just did a lot of experimenting and then just this past May, I did my first fiber show. Oh, neat. Uh -huh. And um, so then, since about, you know, maybe May, a little before that, I started getting more serious about it. So and, and then... And what inspires you to dye up your yarn? How did you, how do you get the colors that you come up with? Because you have beautiful colorways. Thank you. Um, anything, usually I make kids' clothes lately. Mm, um, uh -huh. some, some nature, not, not a whole lot. I would say more clothes or um, just anything lying around the house sometimes. Furniture. Yeah. <laughs> paintings. Photography. Mm -hmm. Doing photography. Very so, nice. Yeah. And uh, so obviously you knit. So we'll have to talk about your knitting a little bit. Yeah. So what's on your needles right now? Um, I have too many things in the needles right now. <laughs> Are you <laughs> one a little of those teddy bear? Who has lots of projects going at once? <laughs> kind of, but I usually tend to get them all finished before I start a new set. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I have a little teddy bear, um, a sweater that's almost done. Oh, a sweater for you? A sweater for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my first one, so that's kind of exciting. Mm -hmm. And a little scarf from one of my hand spun yarns. Um, and I just finished hats actually last night. So, not too many things. No, that's not too many. I'm sure need, there's lots more people out there with a lot of projects yeah. on the needles. <laughs> I like something that I can finish quickly while I'm working on a longer project and a little satisfaction there. Yeah, definitely. Do you get a lot of time to knit or are you dyeing yarn more often than you are knitting? I'm probably dyeing more, yarn more often. Yeah. yeah. And summer has been, I've been a little lazy about doing everything, so. Yeah, <laughs> I think everybody gets like that. The heat yeah. is kind of relaxing. Right, and I have two kids, three and one, okay. so wow, you know, it's harder. Busy house, yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. usually do your stuff in the evenings then, once they're to bed? Um, I try to get up early. Oh, before and do it early. Bed. You're an early riser. Good for well, you. Well, I'm not, <laughs> but <laughs> it's nice when they're all sleeping and the house is quiet, and it's better than the evening. But I do, I have known to dye yarn at 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. So, <laughs> you probably, I can, I'm, I'm one that stays up real, real late, so you'd probably see me dyeing yarn at like 2 or 3 if I did that <laughs> in the morning. Yeah. It'd be great. Um, so, how did you learn to knit? When did you learn to knit? Um, I learned to knit about six years ago um, when I was working. I used to work in surgery as a surgical technologist, and so we had some downtime in the evening, and... Um, one of my friends there taught me how. Oh, okay. So, so I, from a I used to cross stitch, and I always like to do something with my hands. Uh -huh. So it's like, well, you need to learn how to knit. So learn I how to knit. It's oh, very portable. It's a good. It's a good hobby yeah. to have. And it's very satisfying because you make something to wear, and it's very productive too. Yeah, exactly. So, tell us a little bit about your Etsy store and what it's like to run an Etsy shop. Um, it's, it's kind of, 
it's exciting. It's kind of frustrating at the same time sometimes. <laughs> depending. It's hard, you know, in, in juggling the family, you know, with my children um, to, to kind of keep it updated and keep it full of yarn. Yes, right. Um, and in the summer, it's obviously slower than mm -hmm. and, um, kind of balancing, you know, where to advertise and, and how much to spend here and there. And mm -hmm. um, Do you do a lot of advertising, can I ask? Um, I, right now I'm advertising on Ravelry. Okay. You know, monthly. Uh -huh. um, and then I have one other place I'll be doing it in September. Uh, so we'll see how that goes, and I'm kind of looking into other things too. But you know, it costs money, and I. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, and it, and it's hard to pick. I think when you're starting out, it's hard to pick and choose your battles to to figure yeah. out what works for your business and what doesn't. So exactly. So I'm kind of doing that, and you know, Ravelry is wonderful. I mean, oh, yes. I wouldn't be where I am today without Ravelry. So same here. Very thankful yeah. for that. I think we all love Ravelry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So that's kind of a, a harder balance of knowing um, what people want. Mm -hmm. So I'm still kind of learning, you know, it's only been a year, so I'm learning slowly what people like. Yeah. 